They did it, friends. Last time, Hamilton, Aaron Burr, Hercules Mulligan, and the crew, they achieved independence from Britain. But we've got a lot of Hamilton left to cover, and I know Lin-Manuel Miranda likes to take us on this roller coaster ride, so I gotta admit, I'm nervous heading into today's song. Welcome back, friends, and a special welcome, welcome to all the new friends out there. I'm Yo BGS, and I'm looking forward to the rest of Act 1. Now today, I'm looking at two songs. What Comes Next, which is a Jonathan Groff special, so you know it's gonna be good, and Dear Theodosia. I'm gonna save non-stop for another video because it's like a six minute song. And if you like these reactions, by the way, please make sure to subscribe. Only like 20% of people who watch my Hamilton videos are actually subscribed to the channel and it helps me out a ton. Also, leave a comment down below. Let me know what other stuff you'd like to see me check out because eventually, sadly, someday, Hamilton is gonna come to an end and then we're gonna have to find some other uh, cool stuff to do. All right, so we all remember this, right? Look at this, we got Lin-Manuel Miranda Hamilton, he's pumped, the war is over, and now, well, what comes next? We'll find out. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. He's got the crazy eyes, but the thing about King George is that he kind of has always had the crazy eyes in the little bit that we've seen of him, so I don't know if this is the thing affecting him or maybe it's, you know, something in his tea. They say the price of my war is not a price that they're willing to pay. Insane! You cheat with the French, now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. I'm so- <laughs> You notice, by the way, the first time through this song it was the price of my love is not a price that you're willing to pay. Now he's flipped it to the price of my war. He's still drooling like a madman. And <laughs> I always admire that, like, in acting how you can commit so much to a role. Cause I don't know, if I were drooling in front of a theater of people, I would feel self-conscious. But again, Groff going for it. You'll love it. Blue. I Wait, what? Ah, oh. I talked over the good part. You cheat with the French. Now I'm fighting with France and with Spain. I'm so blue. I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away. You were mine to subdue. Well, even despite our estrangement, I've got a small query for you. It's I, like, I don't know about you, but it makes me uncomfortable when he looks right at the camera. I don't want to make eye contact with this character. That's how good of a job he's doing. What comes next? You've been freed. Do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. It's much harder when it's all your call. Oh, oh I want to go back just to get that empires fall again. To be able to hit notes, ugh, he's all slobbery. To be able to hit notes like that. And it's cool because, you know, like we all think of like Frozen, right? And the scene where you, your arms are outstretched, your head is back, and you're hitting the big note that way. He's hitting these killer notes, just chilling there. Like just vibing. What happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. It's much harder when it's all your call All alone across the sea When your people say they hate you Don't come crawling back to me Da 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 da, -da. <laughs> Oh, that's the, that's the moment before the maniac does his maniac your thing people say they hate you don't come crawling back to me. Da 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 da
He took that surprisingly well. He took that surprisingly well for a mad king, I think, as best he could. All right. So, again, knowing the Lin Manuel Miranda roller coaster, like we're very quickly becoming familiar with it, we had a grand triumphant song. We had, admittedly, a bit of a comic relief song. I think you would agree. So, where are we going with Dear Tio? That's what we're about to find out. Again, big props, Jonathan Groff. Love to see it. Anytime something sounds like a music box at the beginning, I'm gonna take a protective sip of water here and gird my loins because I'm not ready. Theodosia, oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna get killed in the comments for that one. For some reason, yeah, no, oh, I okay, you do pronounce the H. I was looking at it, I'm like, why is it not Dear Theodosia? But yeah, Dear Theodosia, I apologize to any commenters who are rolling their eyes at me. Dear Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's name When you came into the world you cried And it broke my heart Okay, I'm, I'm loving it so far, but again, why, why is it, See, why is the letter a sad letter? They're achieving, right? They're headed back home, you would think So why are we so subdued here? I'm dedicating every day to you Domestic life was never quite my style When you smile You knock me out, I fall apart And the father okay. is so smart You will come of age with our young nation We'll bleed and fight for you I think I'm getting it. This is the... Um, this is the, the letter that is basically... We won, so now you think I'm coming home, but my job is just beginning, so actually I'm gonna be here a lot longer than you thought I would. We'll make it right for you If we lay a strong enough foundation We'll pass it on to you We'll give the world to you And you'll blow us all away Someday, someday Oh no, I forgot. I don't have the subtitles on. I want... Like, fortunately, things have been a little bit chill, and so it's not been as big of an issue as it was during Guns and Ships, but, like, it's it's always nice to have just that way I don't misinterpret anything, and also, like, I don't know. I love I, I love the idea of wanting to leave the world better than you left it for the little ones. It feels like we sort of have maybe lost sight of that. I don't know. Yeah, you blow us all away. Someday, Please don't let the blow us all away be foreshadowing. Oh, okay. Oh, Philip, when you smile, I am undone. My son, look at my son. All right, I need to know something really quick. I'm leaving a long pause here so I can cut this out. Right, there was a cut there because out of curiosity, I went to look up what Lin-Manuel Miranda's son is named just because I was, I was curious, you know, people have drawn a lot of parallels between how Hamilton felt at this time and how Lin-Manuel Miranda felt, but his son is named Sebastian. So that is apparently where their roads finally uh, split. Pride is not the word I'm looking for. 
There is so much more inside me now Oh, Philip, you outshine the morning sun Dude, such a happy doting father I don't know why that makes me so happy to see I fall apart And I thought I was so smart my father wasn't around. My father wasn't around. Swear that I'll, I'll be around, around for you. you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make a million mistakes. I'll, I'll make the world safe and sound for you. It's crazy to think that underneath it all, and obviously the 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 issues at play here are far more complex, but. In this song, boiling down their two causes for everything they've done so far to essentially make a safe world for kids when, well, at least in Alexander's case, the world wasn't safe for him. So it kind of is like that whole, he had nothing to lose and everything to gain for his family. And I love, too, that the, the contrasting colors here, right? The background for Leslie Odom, orange. Background for Hamilton, blue. Contrasting colors, purple. Green in here. It's they it's still pointing out that they could not be more different despite having these like similar threads that are sort of holding their characters together. I hadn't even thought about that. And, and, and also, up till this point, he just proved me wrong, but Hamilton was standing, Burr was sitting. We'll bleed and fight for you. We'll make it right for you. If we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. And we've got Eliza in the background. Twins, triplets? Yeah, you'll blow us away. Quadruplets? No. That would be unfathomable for that age. But. I'm making jokes because this is this all feels too nice. I don't know, uh, but and it's also interesting too the subtext of what they're saying because again Hamilton, you know, came from nothing, didn't throw away his shot, made the country, and now I think you know is telling his kid like the world is your oyster kind of a thing, but Burr who came from an environment where his only real thought was like, don't blow this. It almost is like a more stressful song to, to Theodosia, Theodosia, because like now the pressure is on Theo. Don't blow this. I Man, may Hamilton's not live so happy. to see our glory. Alexander, there's a letter for you. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. No, it's from his father. His father? And when our children tell our story... Now, th okay, this is, this is odd. Because... I was not... I was expecting this to segue into non-stop. But there was a friend in the comments who let me know the line I'm looking for that is the end of this video. Because the end of Dear Theodosia is someday, someday. We just heard that. Then, but, but I also looked up the lyrics to nonstop, so I know the first lines to that song. What the hell am I looking at here? Why is John Lawrence, John Don't Call Me Lafayette Lawrence, bathed in this blue light? Why is his dad writing letters? Because, again, the idea that Lawrence would be writing a letter is nothing strange to Hamilton because they were writing some apparently predict, per, blah, apparently some particularly spicy communications. So none of that is is outside the realm of. I may not live to see our glory. Alexander, there's a letter for you. It's from John Lawrence. I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. The story of tonight. No, it's from his father. His father? And when our children tell our story. Will you read it for me? 
They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday the 27th, my son was killed in a gunfight against British troops retreating from South Carolina. The war what are you... was already over. Yeah! As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. At least they're letting Lawrence kick ass, but what? What? Eh. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I again, not to not to spin things into a political hell here, but with everything going on in the world, to hear the thought of like senseless violence just flips you upside down at the moment, and then it's like, oh, the war is over, and somebody who had played such a pivotal role in freedom for so many people now just died for no reason. As you know, John. And I know there was a reason, like, I know he was working on what he was work. you know, like, he was putting together his, his regiment, but I mean, the war was over, so to die in a pot shot, you know, exchange of gunfire is just garbage. Dreamed of emancipating garbage. and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more. There you go. Alexander, are you all right? I have so much work to do. After the war, I went back. To that's a hard turn to make, man. That's an unsatisfying turn to make, man. But again, if if the uh, interest between Lawrence and Hamilton is what history claims it was, it would make sense that Hamilton wouldn't be able to explain to Eliza Hamilton would just suppress and move on. That sad feeling that guys have done for tens of thousands of years, suppress and move on, and then apparently we get a little turntable action. Alexander? Are you all right? I have so much work to do. Okay, and we end this uh, round of music with a, with a little bit of wiggity wiggity, a little bit of uh, ones and twos, the washer dryer, right? And we're down a main character before the end of friggin' act one, Lauren's. What? Mm. So I knew from watching Overly Simplified and the French Revolution that Lafayette was still gonna be around, but I was not ex It sounds so stupid. In a musical about war, I wasn't expecting this much death, but like, I wasn't, I don't know. I thought that the main characters were gonna at least stick around throughout the entire rest of the musical. Maybe he comes back. I don't know, maybe he's a ghost or something, but today, the songs we checked out today, I knew, I knew we were coming down a bit from the high that we had after Yorktown, and uh, that's where we ended up. But hey, it was a uh, it was a solid adventure today. Again, please subscribe if you're new here and you dug these videos. As always, take care, and I will see you for nonstop next time we finish Act One.